Hello everyone, Linda Israel here, and I am going to show you how to make a really cute junk journal page using some scrapbook papers and some rubber stamps as well as a page out of an old book. So what I did to start with is I took some scrapbook paper and I cut it into six inch by four inch pieces. So basically if you think about a 12 by 12 piece of scrapbook, I just made one cut this way and one cut that way and I ended up with four pieces. I gone ahead and went around those with distressed ink and a blending tool used walnut stain. Then I took another scrapbook paper and I trimmed it down to be 11 by two inches. I've got two strips of that. Then I took another piece of scrapbook paper that I cut into an 11, or was it 12? No, this was 12 by six, this piece was. The reason I did those was because I wanted variety. I wanted to be able to use some pattern papers without just using the whole sheet as the image. And then I picked up a page out of a book. In this case, it is a page out of a Bible. I found a Bible at a thrift store that someone had doodled all over the pages. The spine was falling apart. And in my opinion, it is a book and I can use it. And you know, in my, my way of sharing the word with somebody, without them even knowing about it that it's there but anyhow i don't feel that this is a violation or sacrilege some people may that's up to you use any bible or book that you choose you can use a dictionary page you can use a piece of chunk mail you don't really see what's behind it anyway but i wanted to be able to show you that you could use it this page is just slightly smaller than eight and a half by 11. So what I did to start off with is I took the long strips and I'm gonna glue those down. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm using my mat to kind of help me. And I'm gonna go ahead and come down to the eight and a half mark. By doing so, it makes sure that my page is full eight and a half by 11. I can also cover up these holes that are at this side of the page. So I'm just adding a little bit of glue right around where the holes are. And then I'm going to add some glue down the sides, across, up, and then I'll kind of make a little ziggy zag right down the middle. And I will place this on my page. So I'm trying to grab a hold of it without getting glue all over me. So make sure this is all straight and I'll come down to about the eight and a half mark, inch mark. And I just smooth it with my fingers. You can use the bone folder. I'm going to flip it over and I'm going to glue the other coordinating piece on the other side. All right, so there is the first step already done. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and fold this page in half. And that way I kind of know where my center mark is. So when I go to place the other pieces of paper, they go in the right spot. And it doesn't have to be precise. I just want it to be able to kind of get the right layout, if you will. All right. So next, I've got these two pieces of six by four by six pieces. They've already been distressed, and I'm going to position them somewhat in the corner with about the same amount of border around the outside edge. I'm just applying a little bit of tacky glue to the back side, and then I'm going to position this right on here. You know, this is a great way to use those scrapbook papers that you probably have an abundance of in your stash and you're trying to figure out how to use them. Well, grab a few that kind of coordinate together and then cut them up and then you can get more out of it. Because I cut up a 12 by 12 sheet of paper, I actually got enough to make a couple of pages. So I thought, well, I'll show y'all how to put these together and then I can also show you the pages that I made. Now that I've got that glued down, the next thing I'm gonna do is glue this one down in the center. So I'm just gonna position this in the center between the two pieces and smooth that out. Now, what I like about doing this technique is if I flip this over and I pick up one of the other pieces of paper, when I apply glue to it, and it's hard for me to show you on camera, but if I had a light below me here, you could see, but what I normally do is kind of pick it up till I have some light. And if I glue this down, I can glue them where they're perfectly on top of each other because I can kind of see through the paper. And it's important to do that because when you do, so I've got this glued together on both sides. 
I just glued them down and they're all lined up. So now what I'm going to do is go over to my sewing machine and I'm going to sew around these. You don't have to sew. You could make stitch marks with a pen. You could use the shabby stitches rubber stamp if you want, but I want to sew. So let's go over to the sewing machine. Okay, I'm over at my sewing machine. I have a regular sewing machine with a regular needle in it. We have regular thread. I've got it set up to be a zigzag stitch. So here's what we're going to do. We're going to stitch right around each of these little blocks and add a little bit of character to this page. I like to start at a corner and then I'm just going to work my way across. I lift my presser foot up and then rotate my paper and then put it back down with the needle down and then that way it gives me a nice clean corner. Alright, so I've got the first part done. I'm going to go ahead and go around one of the pink uh, the rectangles. Alright, now the page is sewn. Let's go ahead and go back to our main camera. All right, so I've gone all the way around and prior to the video, I went ahead and I stamped the scissors onto some teal paper and then I fussy cut those out. I even use an X-Acto knife to cut out the centers and I also stamped out a few other images and fussy cut those out. But first, what I want to do is I've got a dress form. This is a dress form that comes in the Sew Artsy subscription box, or you can order five of these in my shop. So what we're going to do is paint these. So I'm just grabbing a little bit of a scrap paper, and I'm going to get a paintbrush, and I've got some basic acrylic paint. I think this one is like sunflower yellow. It's Anita's... I think it's Anita's. Yeah, Anita's craft paint. And I'm just going to open that up. I shook it just a little bit just so I could have paint at the top. And I'm going to go in here and just quickly paint over this whole little chipboard piece. I'm doing it in thin layers because I want it to dry fast. Now I want this to dry before I do the next step. So I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. It curled up a little bit on me, but I'm just going to press it out. And then I've got some Tattered Angels. This is part of the So Artsy Tattered Angel set. And this one's called So Golden. And I'm shaking it because it has lots of powdery mica at the bottom. And we're going to spray over the top. And then I'm going to dry this with my heat tool as well. Now that that's dry, I have some archival ink. And then I have this little dress form uh, collage stamp. It's by Beeline. The rubber stamps that I show, I do offer in my shop. But I just basically want to show you techniques that you can do on your own. And since this is rather plain, I'm going to take this rubber stamp, kind of figure out where I want it. I think right about there. And I'm just going to press that to the chipboard. And then it adds a little decorative element on there. Isn't that kind of cool how that turns out? So it takes that pretty plain... You know, if you were to look at the back side, it's pretty plain, and we've dressed it up just a little bit. Funny, dress form, we dressed it up. All right, the next thing I did was I took some really thin ribbon that was in a teal color that kind of matched the colors that I was working with, and I'm going to tie a little bow. So I'm just going to wrap it around once and then tie a little bow. Well, of course, as I do it on camera, I can't get it done because normally I don't have a problem. <laughs> All right. So what I like to do is once I've got the bow started, I will kind of put my finger where the knot is and pull down the edges and then tighten it a little bit and then pull just a little bit by holding it in space, place, and then I can get a cute little bow. And I'm going to cut off the excess here and then we've got a bow. All right, well, let's finish decorating this page up. So I've decided that I like the little pair of scissors. I'm going to put it over here. So I'm just going to take some Maline's Tacky Glue and glue down and into the handles and position that right here. Then I've got what looks like a little top of the uh, 10 yards of twill tape. It's a rubber stamp again that I stamped on that teal paper. I'm gonna put that right here. And then I have a thimble that I stamped on some of a, a kind of a golden yellow paper, a little cardstock, and I thought that would look good right there. The dress form, we're going to put glue on the back side of it down the hold the stand and then around the back and I want to put it down here in this lower corner and you may need to press it into place. This is a little bit heavier so I'm trying to wipe away any excess glue and 
this is going to go right down here on the bottom. And you could glue these where they're tuck spots. I'm not. I'm going ahead and gluing them completely down. Let's put that right there. And then I've got, if I can get it off the table, there we go. This one that says DeLong press button. And I'm going to put that over here. So it kind of brings some of that yellow onto the page just a little bit. Although this side got more yellow and this side didn't get any. But, you know, we have to pick our battles. <laughs> you could add more, I guess. And then just flip it over and do the same thing to the other side. So let me show the other one that I had made earlier. So that's what it looks like. Oh, wait, we're not done yet. I just realized. I decided that I wanted some words. So I've got this life as an adventure. These are the black words on white, kind of inspirational. We'll put that. Let's put it right here. And then this one says, don't overthink it. Put that one right here. And then we'll flip it over and do the other side. So let me show you the one that I made earlier. So this has got different sayings, but same concept on both sides. I hope you enjoyed seeing this tutorial. Another way to use your scrapbook paper, how to sew on your pages and add a little bit of interest, add those rubber stamped images that you fussy cut out. The little dress form, being able to decorate that with a little bit of paint and rubber stamping on top, a little bit of tattered angels on there as well. If you did, give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends. Of course, comment below if you have any comments or questions that you may have. Check the description box for the products that I use today. If you're interested in those, it does help me and I greatly appreciate your support. I'm an artist. I do this for a living. So any support that you give me, even if just a thumbs up and share in the video is greatly appreciated. All right, everybody know that I'm live on Monday at 3.45 p.m. and on Thursdays at 12.30 p.m. Central Standard Time. Thanks so much for watching. Have a fabulous day. Bye, everybody.